Hello guys, welcome to Market Sims. On today's tutorial, we're gonna talk about making action figures to fly or jump. This is the one that you've been waiting for, so I will try to explain it the best I can. Before we begin, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and hit the bell notification button. This channel provides a lot of fun, toys reviews, tutorial, funny clips, and one of the best story storytelling on stop motion. <laughs> Marcus is about Marvel, DC, Star Wars, and more. So subscribe now and share this channel with to your friends and people who love Star Wars, Marvel, DC Comics, action figures, stop motion, etc. Alright guys, let's begin with a tutorial. For this tutorial, we're going to use Iron Man from Avengers Infinity War. There's some ways that you can do this. But today I'm going to show you how I do it. It might be some other ways, but this is how Marcus Films operates. You can use this clear possible stand for action figures. I got mine from the action figures Mayfix. But you can also find this on the web, Amazon or eBay or other website. You can find it by clear pose stand for action figures and you can find a variation of the item. These are good but not the best because in time these joints will become loose. And another method that I use is this wire. It is easy to bend but also strong enough for 6 or 7 inch action figures or less of course. Just wrap it around the figure and you're ready to animate. The only thing that it's bad is that you have to move it with your hand and it might be very tired but you can also find another way to hold the wire this wire is easy to find and cheaper to buy just find it just find a wire easy to bend but strong for action figures let's begin with a clear stand for action figures We will be using the app Stop Motion Studio for this tutorial. First of all, you're going to shoot on an empty scene without the figure. For this step, your camera must be still. Do not move your camera at all times. This is very important. Take a photo without the figure and then we can start on animating. If the stand doesn't hold the figure, you can use something heavy enough to hold the stand with the figure. With the wire, we're just going to wrap it around the figure waist and you're ready to go. Okay. So I have animated with a clear stand and with a wire. You can either show the stand or the wire or remove it. For this tutorial we're going to remove it. You're going to the first frame, not the empty one, but the one with the figure and you're going to edit. Click on the frame, then you're going to click on erase. Now this feature is not for free. So keep that in mind. I talked about this on my last tutorials that all these features are not for free. Alright, on erase, you are manually going to erase the stand that is holding the figure. But why is this appearing? Because of the empty photo that you took first. It's like on top of the empty photo is the photo with the figure. And you are removing what you don't need. It's very important to have the same lighting, the same focus on both pictures. Like this for example, the light change between shots and that's why it looks different.
and use this process to all the other pictures. You can also add opacity to the picture. What opacity does is that it adds blur to the picture, making it look more fluid the animation. And there you go. Now with the wire we are going to do the same thing. Let's try to set the same amount of lightning and focus to both pictures, the empty and the not empty. I'm moving the figure with my hand. For this step, you need to follow the shade that the figure is leaving behind so it can be on the same course. Now to erase it is a bit more easy, but it can be also difficult. Something is not gonna look perfect, but that's better than showing the whole wire or the stand. I have seen people who do stop motions, bigger YouTubers, and they don't remove the wires. It's cool, but you can tell that it has some laziness on their job. You can also add blur effect by tapping on the picture and tapping on merge. So 
So like I said, it can be many ways to improve on these methods. You can think on some other ways to make your videos even much better and with less effort. If you want to see how I remove wires with After Effects, you can watch my Black Panther behind scenes. I show even more behind scenes when I'm making stop motion. But yeah, this feature of the app is not for free. All these kind of luxuries are not always free. So don't be mad at me. If you want to accomplish something, you got to pay the sacrifice. You have to pay either money, time, effort, and patience. This is just a friendly advice from Marcus Films. So yeah guys, I hope you have learned something today. Remember that there will be more tutorials. The next one will be super powers like laser beams, fireball, and all that kind of superhero stuff. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to share, leave a like, and subscribe to the channel and be part of the next stop motion that I'm going to be uploading, the next tutorial, the next toy reviews, the next uh, everything that I'm going to be uploading on this channel. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys on the next one.